Good afternoon. I would like to present the report on topic comparative analysis of instant messaging protocols and technologies for effective communication in computer-mediated environments. Authors are Natalia Sharonova from National Technical University HPE, Irina Kirichenko and Daria Shapovalova from Kharkiv National University of Radio Electronics. This work focuses on a form of online communication called instant messaging. The object of study is computer-mediated communication and approaches to implementing instant messaging protocols and web applications. This research focuses on different methods of implementing instant messaging and their comparison. The goal is to propose the criteria and mathematic methods to compare protocols that afterwards can be used in web development to determine which approach is preferable to use for better performance. Web applications are extremely widespread in the modern internet, and instant communication is often used to provide certain functionality in them. The study can help to determine how to better implement this technology and can save time for developers on additional research. There are several different approaches to ensuring online communication between people. One of the earliest and most widespread is email. Email addresses are required to register for many services in the Internet, and it is generally assumed that every user in the Internet has at least one email address. Another way to communicate online is through forums. A forum is a type of a website where members can post questions, start discussions, or participate in various discussions. One of the most common ways to communicate today is through instant messaging. It is a form of text-based communication in which two or more people engage in a single conversation via the computers or mobile devices in an online chat room. In its simplest form, instant messaging seeks to accomplish two goals – availability, monitoring, and messaging. When a user logs in to an instant messaging system, the login is recognized and other online users receive notifications of a user's presence. The software establishes a direct connection between users so they can communicate with each other in real time. The main types of instant messaging implementation are client pull and server push. The main types of implementation this work is going to focus on are short polling, long polling, WebSocket-based messaging, and server sent events. Both short, short and long polling are methods that implement client pool approach. The client pool means that client initiates the update process and asks server for updates at certain regular intervals of time. WebSocket messaging and server side events, however, are implementations of a different approach called server push. It means, unlike client pool, that the updates are initiated by the server side, where a server proactively sends them to the client. Short polling is a type of communication between a client and a server in which the client repeatedly sends requests to the server to check for updates or new information. In short polling, the client sends the request to the server at regular intervals, asking for any updates or changes since the last request. The server responds immediately with any new information, and the client processes its information and sends another request after a short interval. Requests are sent after regular delay and do not uh, and do not depend on whether or not new updates appear on the server. Short polling is implementation using Ajax-based timer. Long polling is another implementation of client requests and updates from the server. Unlike the previous approach, long polling sends a request to the server and waits until the server has any updates to send back. This allows us to avoid cases in which multiple requests to the server don't return any changes. Long polling attempts to minimize both the latency in the server management in server client message delivery and the use of processing and networking resources. WebSocket is a technology that allows us to use uh, to open a two-way interactive communication session between a client and a server. Server sends updates to the client as soon as they appear, and in the meantime, the client doesn't wait for a response and can send a new one. WebSockets provide a two-way ongoing conversation up until the connection is closed. They do not, however, operate on top of the HTTP protocol. Instead, they need their own TCP connection to work. Another implementation of server push approach is called server sent events. This goal, the goal of server sent events is to give the browser a convenient way to receive data from the server without having to ask for it. This method allows the server to push data in a synchronous way back to the client once the connection has been established. This can be described as a one-way publish-subscribe model, where client subscribes to a specific event and watches its updates uh, once uh, the server sends them. The main difference between WebSockets and server and events is that WebSockets allow to have a two-directional communication between client and server, meanwhile server and events are monodirectional. Overall, the main implementations and the key differences are summarized in this table. Now let's move on to comparison criteria for these implementations. 
The main proposed factors to compare by are security and speed. Security is one of the key factors that represents how reliable an application is, how well does it handle security threats and issues, prevents leaks of data and sensitive information. In online communication, security is especially important since it defines the confidentiality of users and their conversations. Speed is an important aspect of instant messaging chats because it enables real-time communication and collaboration. Unlike email or other forms of communication, instant messaging allows users to exchange messages quickly and efficiently, allowing for instant feedback and responses. Speed is a key factor in the effectiveness of instant messaging chats and contributes to the convenience, efficiently and real-time nature of this form of communication. First, let's specify what security issues we will consider. For this purpose, we can use a standardized framework called OWASP. The OWASP Top 10 is a standard awareness document for developers and web application security. For each security issue, we would need to consider the following. Issue impact, the numeric value that represents the severity or priority of the issue, and probability of occurrence, numeric value that represents the likelihood of appearance of an issue. It can be calculated considering spread of an issue in the web environment, as well as in the current of the implementation of instant messaging has a vulnerability for this issue. The proposed high-level formula to calculate security risk score can be written as presented on this slide. We can distinguish the following factors when considering speed of an instant messaging application. Messaging run trip time. This refers to the time it takes for a message to be sent from one user to another and for acknowledgement to be received. Server response time. This refers to the time it takes for the server to receive and process incoming messages and send responses back to the clients. And client processing time. This refers to the time it takes for the client to receive incoming messages and process them before displaying them to the user. We will be considering all three of these factors to have an equal priority. Based on that, we can formulate a high-level formula to calculate the speed score that's presented on the slide. During the work on this research, we conducted an experiment to measure speed criteria of each implementation using proposed formula. For each of the above-mentioned approaches, we create a testing environment, a small web application that supports minimal functionality of sending and receiving messages. We take into account uh, factors mentioned before, such as messaging round trip time, server response time, and client processing time. In order to measure the effectiveness of each of the indicators, it is necessary to conduct initial measurements and long-term measurements. Initial measurements are those obtained when the system is first launched. Long-term measurements are the indicators measured during further interaction with the system. Uh, you can see the results of measurements for a short polling approach on this slide. We performed four runs and recorded the time for each of the above mentioned factors. Long-term value is calculated as an average of the consecutive runs. Using the proposed formula, we calculate speed impact for initial and long-term performance. In the same way, we measure speed for long polling application. Results are presented on the slide. In the same way, we measure speed for WebSocket applications. Results are also presented on the slide. In the same way, we measure speed for server sent events application. Results are presented on this slide. For each of the result sets, we calculate speed impact using the, follow the proposed formula. Across different implementations, we can see that server response time in general tends to be lesser than client processing, regardless of which site initiated the data update. We can also see that numbers on the initial run tend to be bigger than those on long-term run. In terms of speed, we can see that implementations that use server push approach tend to perform better than those using client pool. Among all, pre all implementations, web sockets based messaging shows the best results. On the other hand, short polling shows the worst result by far. It can be influenced by the fact that this approach uses a fixed delay in between requests. In conclusion, this work provides readers with an introduction of four different approaches to implementing instant messaging web systems. It gives us a description of what instant messaging is and what advantages it has in comparison with other forms of online communication. The key takeaways are Server push implementations tend to have higher speeds than client pool ones. Client pool implementations might potentially overload the system by sending too many requests for updates. WebSocket approach tends to perform slightly better than send server sent events. However, the difference in numbers is not significant, so additional investigation might be conducted. The results of this research can be used when deciding on which approach to use when developing a new instant messaging application, as well as get the general interaction in existing implementations and their main differences. Furthermore, the research described in this paper can be continued using suggested approaches to specify new key factors and conduct comparison using them.
The proposed formulas can be suppl supplemented with additional criteria and weight factors. The results may be used in web application development cycle, as well as expanded to other types of applications, such as mobile or desktop ones. Thank you for your attention.